What do you want to do? Can I talk? seem quite busy, Sai-san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kanashiro. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd. But, don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just Phantom Thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves, without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then. To our victory. Okay. All right. Flounder is out of this world. Mm, that texture. Uh, I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. So good. Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Hold your horses and don't talk. By the way. Is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that, I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait, you think Alibaba could be boss's ex-wife? He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. It 
Crap. Uh, um, the fan fantastic This sushi is delicious. Y yeah the fish is so fresh. <laughs> Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish? Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Akechi-kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Ah, English again! Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. A total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Hmm. So you share the majority's opinion. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you gotta say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Mm -hmm. I wasn't anticipating that response. You always find a way to rise above my expectations. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what the hell are you saying? Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but it may be best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Mejed. Oh yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Mejed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. 
In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Medjet will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We can talk more over there. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but... Looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually... He may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, He's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here too. Ah, oh, the gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. Whoa, it sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. My apologies, boss. Uh, hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. Ah! Ah! Scream? What was that? How should I know? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? What are you freaking out for? I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry, um... Can I hold your hand? I can sense someone's presence. Who is it? Are you okay? 
super tall one. Crap, he's home! Who the hell are you? Don't move! You hear me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis! Somebody please save me! You? What are you doing in my house? Uh, You're... Oh, uh, good... Good evening, sir. Uh, we... Uh, we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? We're just friends. Uh, friends nowadays get that close to each other? But that's not it. This... Um... Uh, things... They happened, and... You kids are here, too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked, too. We could hear the TV, though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Guess I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here. Isn't there? Yeah. My daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um... Is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so... We'd like to apologize, if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. Yes. She committed suicide. Suicide? Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... She wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that, but I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared, even when nothing was happening. 
She'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the...? She's got one! So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana! Were you just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? I take it the Chief told you about Futaba? 
And then you guys disbanded in relief for now? Hmm. You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. She had long hair and a pretty young-sounding voice. Well, I say young, but... I think she's probably about the same age as you guys. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the Chief. And she can hack into our chats, too. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjed. Let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? Then how was Medjid... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. If you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. It's still unclear to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. All right. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Seriously? I can't.
Man, that assembly had me bored to tears. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Well then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said. She's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why's that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Are you afraid? Now is no time to be indecisive. Huh. We gotta do this. All right. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? That has to be the case. I... definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? You sure live up to my expectations. up to them now the last keyword she's a shut-in so we just got to figure out what she thinks her house is if she can't get out maybe a prison perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit Conditions have not been met. maybe an oasis nothing so far in that case how about hell we don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can! Come on, let's go see Futaba. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. You have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if we run into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Oh, 
Getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Very well. Let's do this. This is Futaba's room. Futaba-chan! You're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba-chan! Are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Is it Alibaba? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself, just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. All right then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. Think that's it? Try entering tomb. Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. We got it. Yes, it was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. Idiot! Don't activate it here! It's a desert. Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the... Our, our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Oh, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kanashiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny. The tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Of course not. My paws will get burned. I've been waiting for this. I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. You're so considerate. <laughs> right. All right, <laughs> let's roll. Yes, I know. But it's 
still beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. Hey, On, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. How are the guys? There we go. It's so hot. The AC ain't working at all. What the hell was that lukewarm air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping! For real? You are so half-assed! What was that? You wanna fight, punk? Jeez, shut up! It's hot, so don't make me more irritated! <sighs> to think her palace would be a pyramid. Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead? Hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Hey guys, can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. Oh man. Indeed.
What to do? Let's go! Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True, this one's kind of dressed like a queen. So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something! Don't be like that! I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay, there's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? This is going nowhere. Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those who plunder my tomb, why have you come? She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. Creepy child! You killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Murderer! Why don't you say something? Murderer? You're the one who killed it's her! It's all your fault! This is horrible. Hey, the hell is this? Don't come Don't near just me! Don't stand there! Say something! It's your fault! Murderer! That's, That's right. right. I did it. What? I am the one who killed my mother. What was that? My mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Our clothes! She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Hmm? This... again? Creepy child. You killed her! You're a plague with that murderer! Man? Why don't you say You're something? You're the one who killed her! That's right. I killed Mom. I don't deserve to be alive. This place is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right. Die! Don't come near me! Don't just stand there! Say something! It's your fault! No! Someone help me! Damn it! 
What the hell? This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should regroup and... What now? The date that Medjid is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber terrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout then? We must take care not to be discovered by Boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. Shut up. It was a great view. You guys were looking too, am I right? Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. It ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman, after all. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed, am I right? <sighs> Will we be all right like this?
sight of her palace bothers me too. We have to do this. Baba proving what she said earlier? Talk about a crazy thing to pull off. Write something.
Okay. Hey. at the palace this time. Everywhere we looked was just desert. Oh, yeah. All the other ones until now have just been normal cities outside of the distortion itself. Thanks to that, we didn't even know we were in a palace our first time going into Kamoshidas. That's still part of the palace, though. The city may not have been distorted, but it was cognition. The palace rulers may have been criminals, but they were social enough to know the city layout. But Futaba probably doesn't. In fact, I'd bet she isn't even interested in the outside world. Hence why the whole thing is a bleak desert. Understandable, considering her lifestyle. I doubt many famous criminals are shut-ins like her, though. Hopefully that means we won't have to go through all this desert business in the future. That might not necessarily be the case. Many upper-class citizens travel by limo or plane, so they don't know or care about city life. A plane? Damn, that sounds pretty good. I mean, wouldn't you want to go to a palace way up above the clouds if you could? I think a flying bank is quite enough, thanks. I have to say, though, the topic of the area outside the distortion is fascinating. Depending on the criminal, there may be an exact replica of Tokyo within their palace. I would love to examine the aesthetics of such a strange place at least once. Huh. You don't got a damn thing but art in that head of yours, huh? But it's true that an observant criminal could have a true-to-reality city in their palace. Although even if such a place did exist, it's not like we'd have any use for it. Huh? Okay, let's go. I'm prepared. Let's focus and get moving. You'd like to read the compendium? You want to register? You'd like to register this? The inmate needs our- Let's execute a- Fusion.
You okay with this? Not terrible, but not impressive. Terrible, but not impressive. Not terrible, but not impressive. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It will receive a fraction of power. <laughs> I see. Here, let's talk for a moment. Welcome back. I had thought I would never see you again. Yeah, oh, I wonder why. I can't believe you tried to crush us with an effing boulder. You want us to steal your goddamn treasure or not? Hmm, why don't we make a deal? You wish to proceed further, yes? A deal, you say? There is a town nearby. I would like you to take back that which the bandit there stole from me. Oh yeah, I think I remember seeing a town on the way here. If you bring what was stolen back to me, I will give you a reward. I'll even tell you how to proceed. Can't you tell us any more details? Anything about this bandit or what was stolen? You'll learn all the information you need to know once you arrive. We'll need to head outside if we want to go to the town. We can go when you're ready, Joker. Hmm... 
Yes. Use fire attacks to hit its weak point. Persona! Hold on. Okay. Looking cool, Joker! There. Looking cool, Joker! Okay. Looking cool, Joker! So damn happy. <laughs> Guess we ought to play along.
Well? Shadow identified. Oh. I'll reveal oh. your Who true you? form. The first move is ours. Weak against nuclear attack. Persona. Phoenix. You're mine. Looking cool, Joker! Go down! Looking cool, Joker! It looks scared. Use soothing words. Not bad if I say 
kill myself. The opponent is strong. Don't do anything reckless. Thank you. 
the thing you said they stole, right? Well done. It is yours now. Wait, what? Didn't you want us to get it back because it's important? That is a map of the tomb, stolen by the bandit to aid in his ransacking of this place. Why are you letting them just do whatever they want? This is your palace, isn't it? All that matters is that the map is now yours. Just come further in and... Oh. What in the... Huh? A Futaba-chan dis... God damn it! Shit! <sighs> Is this... Quicksand! Everyone, swim with all your might! Hey, you guys still alive? First a boulder, then this. Uh, did we piss her off somehow? I don't think it has anything to do with us angering her. I suspect the problem is that she can't control her instinct to push people away from her. Simple defense mechanism. Considering what she's been through, I don't blame her for mistrusting others. Joker, let's save her. We've got to help Futabachan open the door to her heart. No objections, but we should worry about ourselves first and foremost. Come on, let's look for a way back above ground. Otherwise, this place is going to end up our tomb, too. I can feel it. Anything too forceful. You're such a kid. How about something else?
okay? I can feel it. Treasure chest. This is what thievery is. the difference in strength in that I can fight. feel it. I'll reveal your true form. Enemies beneath us. 
Shadow Joker. I have something. Show me your true form. Show me your true form!
Persona! Win with wind attacks! You're mine! Ooh. Looking cool, Joker! Ooh. Looking cool, Joker! You're mine! Ooh. Looking cool, Joker! Let's go! Okay. You're not too tired something. after that, are you? Reveal your Who true you? form. Some other way. Looking cool, no Joker. Movement. your true form. Here's the bullets! 
Excellent. Well Pretty great, huh? Two foes left. The enemy is weak, but wind won't do much to it. Looking cool, Joker. No sudden move. <laughs> Okay. That was an easy win. Let's go, Joker. I can see it. Reveal your true form. Now's our chance to strike! The opponent is strong. Don't do it! Eat this! An enemy burning! Go down! 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 Go Allow me. Oh, Some yeah! Sauce. A touch of red. Bon appetit! Oh, man, it's just what I want! Uh, <laughs> get out of my face! You can't chew on this! <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> all according to plan. A spectacular victory! Person has gained new power. Okay. Huh? That was a little too easy. Somewhere. Look, a treasure chest. Your Who true you? form. Alright, it isn't a major threat, but don't. It's clearly in theory. It's weak to nuclear moves. Let's end this quickly. Cool, 
something. Pursue rehabilitation with all your body and soul. You wish to view the compendium? You wish to reg- You wish to register it to the compendium? Alarm to- One of my favorite duties. Choose wisely! Handle it. I see. This is certainly a powerful persona. Choose which skills to inherit. This should confer some small power. Both of you to work. It is neither remarkable nor unremarkable. You okay with this? You're stuck. What? Done already? What?
Careful. There's a strong one. What should we do, Joker? All right. Yes. Ravage 
Damage them! They're all knocked down! That was incredible, <laughs> Joker! This'll end it! Here it comes! I'll help you finish him off! It's showtime! Let's rock, Fist of the Phantom Star! It's not oh, sorry! <laughs> Your true form.
Show me your true form. Reveal your true form. Ah! 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 
died so your true form. takes for me. I have something. Good positioning. Let's make a quick move. I'll reveal oh, your oh, true you. form. Look, there's a rare one. It's an it's clearly inferior. Wind with wind attacks. 
Joker. Indeed.
I see. Did you change your mind?
Do it. <laughs> 